Hello children, welcome to another EVS class. Today we are going to look at unit number 12. It's titled Our Body. Human body is so marvelously created that not even a machine or another creature on this planet comes close in terms of the intelligence or even the functionality. So that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. Our body has many parts working together and they all function as one unit. The basic unit of a human body is called a cell. A cell is the basic living unit of a body. Now, similar cells come together to form tissues and a group of tissues come together to form an organ and organs come together to form an organ system. And all these different organ systems work together so that our body functions well. Let's look at different body systems one by one. First, let's look at the skeletal system. This is the system that gives our body the shape and also it protects our body. What are the parts of a skeletal system? Bones, joints and connecting tissues called ligaments are the parts of a skeletal system. You can see in this picture how each part looks like. Bones of course we are very familiar with and then two bones would be joining together at the joints and then there are connecting tissues called ligaments that connect them all together. Did you know that babies have 300 bones at birth and as they grow up different bones fuse together and the number of bones comes down and an adult will have only 206 bones in their body. The next system we are going to look at is the muscular system. It is of course made of muscles and muscles are attached to the bones so that it will enable the movement of our bodies. It's because of the muscles that we are able to move our body parts. And in an adult body, there are about 650 muscles. Muscles make up for about half of the body weight. So sometimes when you lose weight, it's all your muscles that you're losing. If you have good muscles, your body weight would be likewise. Another important system in our body that helps us to function very well is the digestive system. When we eat food, it goes down into our stomach and then it gets digested that much we know today we are going to look at in detail about the parts of the digestive system the parts of the digestive system are mouth food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine anus liver and pancreas the process of digestion starts in the mouth. When you put your food in the mouth, the saliva mixes with it and we chew the food well. That is the beginning of digestion. So it is very important for you to chew your food well. That will help the digestive system to digest your food well. Otherwise, it's a lot of work for the rest of the organs in the digestive system to digest your food. So chew your food well. When the saliva mixes with your food in the mouth, it begins the process of digestion. So food is first of all broken into smaller particles in the mouth itself. What happens to the food that is chewed in your mouth? It goes into the stomach through a pipe called the food pipe. And stomach is like a bag that is there where all the food comes into it and it churns the food to digest it further. And in the stomach, the food mixes with more digestive juices that are present there that will help in the breaking down of food further and from the stomach the food is passed on to a long coiled organ called the small intestine that is where the digestive juices that are released from the pancreas and the liver get mixed with the food and here the complex parts of the food like protein and fat are further digested are further broken into smaller units Digestion of our food gets completed in the small intestine and then what happens to the undigested food? It is passed on to the large intestine where extra water that is there is absorbed back into the body and whatever is left is passed on to the anus from where it goes out as faces. What do you think happens to the useful substances that got digested from the food? It all gets absorbed into the blood. So that is how our digestive system helps us to digest the food that we eat. How wonderful. Next, let's look at the respiratory system. Yes, 
the respiratory system helps us to breathe and stay alive. So when we breathe, the air that contains all kinds of gases goes into our body. We breathe through our nostrils and it goes through another pipe called the wind pipe and gets into the lungs. And in the lungs, oxygen is taken in and sent to the blood and the rest of the gases are exhaled through your nostrils. Oxygen is very important for us because it is the gas that helps us to produce energy. Sometimes when we have to get up and speak in front of a crowd, you kind of feel a thumping sensation on your chest. What is that? It feels like a pump. Yes, that's your heart beating very fast. The circulatory system consists of our heart, blood and the blood vessels. There are two kinds of blood vessels, arteries and veins. Arteries are the blood vessels that carry pure blood from the heart to the different parts of the body and the impure blood from different parts of the body gets pumped back into the heart through veins. Now let's look at the next important system of our body, the nervous system. The nervous system is formed by the brain, the nerves and the spinal cord. Now these are very important parts of our body which helps us to understand and also respond to what is around us. The nerves of the nervous system are connected to all our sense organs and they are the ones that send signals to our brain so that the brain will send signals to the muscles so that we can move. The brain invariably helps us to think and also process information. The next system we are going to look at is the excretory system. The excretory system is the collection of organs that help us to get rid of all the waste materials or toxins from our body. Now skin is part of the excretory system. How does skin help? It excretes waste as sweat. Another pair of important organs that is part of the excretory system is kidneys. Have you seen beans? Our kidneys are in the form of beans and they are situated on either sides of our body. How do the kidneys help us? When the blood passes through the kidneys, it purifies the blood and takes out all the toxins and the waste materials from the blood and it expels it from our body in the form of urine. So the kidneys are important parts of our excretory system. Another organ that is part of the excretory system are lungs. They are also part of the respiratory system since they help us to get rid of carbon dioxide which is also a waste from the body. It can be counted as part of the excretory system as well. The last system we are going to look at is the reproductive system. The reproductive system is the system that helps human beings to procreate or to produce young ones. Yes, reproductive system is the reason why you and I have been born on this earth. It is the reason why our parents have been able to give birth to us. You will learn about the reproductive system in detail in the higher classes. That brings us to the end of the lesson. Let's look at the recall section. Our body is made up of many parts working together. The human body is made up of cells. The human body has a framework of bones called the skeletal system. The muscles are responsible for the movement of the body. The organs that help us to digest our food form our digestive system. The food travels from the mouth through the food pipe to the stomach. Then it passes through the small intestine and large intestine. The heart, blood and the blood vessels form the circulatory system. The brain, spinal cord and the nerves form the nervous system. The reproductive system is responsible for producing babies. It is followed by an assessment zone where different questions based on this lesson have been asked. Feel free to work out the answers. If you're not sure, go back into the lesson and you would find the answers. Let's look at the fill in the blanks. Number one, dash join together to make an organ. So what is it that joins together to make an organ? Yes, tissues. Number two, the air we take in has dash, it has oxygen. Number three, the dash, dash and the dash form the circulatory system. Yes, the heart, the blood and the blood vessels form the circulatory system. Number four, the dash, dash and the dash form the nervous system. Yes, the brain, the spinal cord and the nerves form the nervous system. Number five, the dash throw out waste in the form of urine. The kidneys throw out the waste in the form of urine. Let's look at the next section. Correct the following statements by changing the underlined words. The human body is made up of 
tissues. Tissues is what is underlined. We can use the word cells instead. The human body is made up of cells. Cells are the most basic unit of a body. Number two, the muscles of the body make up the skeleton. No, it is the bones of the body that make up the skeleton. Number three, the lungs work like a pump. The underlined word is lungs. What works like a pump? It is the heart. The heart works like a pump. Number four, the body has two bean shaped lungs. No, the lungs are not bean shaped. The organs that are bean shaped are kidneys. So the answer is kidneys. Number five, the skin lets out waste as oxygen. No, oxygen is very important for us to have. What is let out by the skin? The skin lets out waste as sweat. The next section is matched the following. You can find the different parts of the body and you have to match it to the right system that they belong to. Here's what the answer looks like. Now let's look at another match the following section. This is to match the systems with their functions. Let's look at the first one, muscular system. Muscular system can be matched with the function of movement of the body parts. Number two, digestive system. What is the function of the digestive system? To digest the food. Yes, that's option number A, digestion of food. Number three, nervous system. Nervous system is the system that controls all body parts. So that's option E. Number four, respiratory system. Respiratory system is responsible for taking in oxygen. That's option G. Number five, excretory system. Excretory system, as you know, is the system that functions in order to throw out waste from the body. So that's option D. Number six, circulatory system. Circulatory system is responsible to pump blood to all parts of the body. That is option C. Number seven, reproductive system. It is a system that helps in producing children. That is option B. Let's look at another choose and write the correct option. Number one, the number of bones in an adult body is 206. That's right. Number two, the number of muscles in our body is about 650. Number three, the smallest unit of human body is cell. Number four, dash helps to produce energy. Is it oxygen, nitrogen or carbon dioxide? Yes, it is oxygen. Number five, our heart is situated at the dash side of our chest, right, middle or left. It is situated at the left side of our chest. We've reached the end of the lesson. Feel free to go back into the lesson and revise everything that we've learned. Also, take some time to read up more about all these different organ systems that we learned about. Our body is a magnificent machine and it's wonderful to learn more and more about it. Have a nice day and see you soon.